Dr. Jaffe, what is the ideal pH for drinking water? Uh, is, is highly alkaline water beneficial or is long-term use harmful? A very important question about water since <clears throat> the water we drink is much more important even than the water in the food we eat in regard to the impact on our mineral balance. I'm reminded that a classic study was done in Massachusetts where the town had two wells. On the top of one well, they put sodium chloride salt because that was the only place they had to put a mountain of salt and they used the salt in the winter to melt the ice. And on that side of town, people were taking in so much sodium and chloride in their water, which the chloride makes your body acidic. <clears throat> sodium is important, but sodium is kept outside of cells. You need a balance of sodium and potassium, just as you need a balance of calcium and magnesium and a balance of copper and zinc, because inside the cell, it's mostly potassium, magnesium, and zinc. So the question is, what is the quote ideal uh, water pH? And the answer is, if you can get water that's neutral, that's a little better. But what most people forget about measuring pH <clears throat> is it tells you how acid or alkaline is that liquid at that moment. However, it doesn't tell you the strength of the acid or the alkaline. So I drink Pellegrino water. I also recommend any of the classic alkaline mineral therapeutic waters. There's Apollinaris, there's Gerolsteiner. There are a number of them. Um, usually the ones whose name you remember are well enough marketed and prominent enough in markets that you can find them, but it's an investment. It's, you know, when you pay by the liter, water is expensive. I would not, I would not get a machine that makes water alkaline because that's a false alkalinity that fools the body and makes a fool out of the person who spent the $5,000 for the machine that in my opinion is a laboratory tool, but since it does not help physiologically and can potentially harm, I don't recommend it. So the measurement of pH in the water is much less important than the measurement of pH in the urine after rest. And if that urine pH is below 6.5, then you want more minerals in your diet and more medium chain and short chain triglycerides, the short fats that alkalinize you, and the recycled glutamine that contributes an alkaline uh, effect. What you don't care about is whether the water in the glass is pH 5, 6, or 7, or 8. And why? Because just measuring the pH does not tell you how concentrated that acid or alkaline is. And just to be technical for a moment, if I remember correctly, uh, because of the way Pellegrino is produced and bottled, the pH, if you measure it before you drink the Pellegrino, is 6.5. I happen to like the effervescence, so I like sparkling rather than still water. That's a preference. Um, I will recommend to anyone who can that they get well water from the below the um, bedrock level. I call that third aquifer. You don't want to drink the groundwater. You don't want to drink the water that's just below the surface. But in any area, any well digger can tell you where the bedrock is and how far you'll have to go down to get below that into an aquifer where you can have well water. Fortunately, at my home, that's what we have. Um, if you don't have well water or a friend from whom you can get well water, uh, you can get from reliable commercial sources 
Mountain Valley. Um, there are three or four, and they don't all leap to mind right now, but there are companies that will deliver to your home or office five gallons at a time of deep mountain spring water, not reverse osmosis, not processed in any way, not purified for you in their chemical treatment plant, but actually from the equivalent of below the bedrock levels of uh, aquifer. Often these are artesian, which means they are under pressure and they can actually draw a lot of water without disturbing the water table. So don't worry about the forests or the glades from which uh, those companies draw their, uh, their water. 